my name is Forthman, and welcome back to Undermine. Uh, thank you to a couple of the commenters who told me what I'm actually supposed to do with this dusty book. I put it, yeah, up here. I would have never figured that out. Never in my entire life. Mm. Hello, peasant. I am the collector. Uh, my name is Griswold, and I work for the Archmage. As you can see, I collect creatures from the depths of the Undermine. Many fascinating creatures can be found, all with wonderful attributes and abilities. If you find any hatchlings, please bring them to me and I will um, cook, <coughs> I mean, uh, hatch them for you. This is where we get familiars. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so we've got access to only one other one at the moment. Let's get that. We've got the firebird. The firebird will occasionally fire fireballs at enemies, reduce all incoming fire damage. And both the Firebird and Peasant deal increased fire damage and conflagrate. The duration of the Ignite effect is increased for enemies. Io, obviously a reference to the Wisp. Pilfer, mysterious creature, you know, no certainty on any of those so far. Hatch. No hatchlings to hatch? Hmm. You don't seem like a person of refined taste, Peasant. Tell me, who is your favorite artist of course you would say that well i can't say i'm surprised the archmage has been good to me i curate his collection of creatures books and art and in return he treats me to the finer things in the kingdom yeah. the bookcase was locked i don't know anything about that I have no reason to leave this place. Everything I love is <laughs> brought to me. I am content. I've given you a bad voice for someone who's contented. All right. Uh, well, the thing is, I think while I'm still, <laughs> while I'm still doing the meta progression that requires me to have a lot of money out here, I feel like we probably actually do want to go with the helpful assistant. And jump on down. Two blessings, both with the fastest swing speed. Ugh. Would it have to be that? <clears throat> Hang on. The map actually continues past this point. Alright. Um. You know what? Let's go like increase gold income, increase cold income, just like constantly stack gold for these early floors. It's gonna make us worse at being a boss killer. But, ultimately, I don't think this run is going to Nori. I think this run goes as far and gets as much money as it possibly can. In the limited time we have. Come back to that later, possibly. Not really finding much ability to access gold on this floor so far. Probably should have done that on the other side. I don't know if I would have been able to reach this rock as well as check the wall for a secret room, but eh, it'd be worth giving a shot to. Okay. Right. Thankfully, I already did leave money elsewhere. Oh, money, health. Look, time is money and over time, your health deteriorates. So frankly, as far as I'm concerned, they're all completely interchangeable. Time is money and money is health and time is health and etc. It's definitely not just that I misspoke. <laughs> Gosh forbid. All right. Getting a ridiculous amount of keys for this early. Ooh, and another bomb. Lovely. I would like to actually have a more stringent fo- Oh my god, really? I would like to have a more stringent focus on making sure that we try and get as many secret rooms here in the early floors as possible. <clears throat> but I feel like maybe I probably want a huge surplus of bombs before I start focusing on that. And we're far from that. 
Getting closer, though. Also getting the golden popcorn. That's going to be absolutely incredible for us. All right. Just wanted to try and get a bomb pill for there. Didn't manage to. I think there's probably a secret room to the south or the left of there. <clears throat> Ah, never mind. Found the secret room. Not only that, but I actually managed to complete the room without taking any damage. I'm surprised, because I really thought I would have taken damage there. I'm also surprised by the location of that secret room, weirdly. Ah, uh, no. My money. Nothing. I mean... I guess we have enough keys to do this. Not super pleased with the result, to be honest, though. <clears throat> so yeah, finding these secret rooms will occasionally be an absolute dud. But especially in the Delvemore Mines, there's definitely a secret room area there that I still need to go to. So this is drop a random chest. I mean, I have no good reason that I can think of to take that earlier or later. I guess if I get a gold doubling effect and I'm in a room with a lot of gold, then I can open a bunch of chests at the same time as well to try and add to it. That's a pretty long shot. Not exactly a tangible benefit. With this faster swing speed, despite the damage difference, if I want to constantly keep them stun locks, I do actually have to swing. Fair enough, game. You got me to do it once. But that's the last time, you hear me? <clears throat> Aegis increases defense at critical health. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you know. It's just, eh. Yeah. Oh, this is absolutely perfect. Now I just need to enrage you there and then have you run across all of those. Beautiful. Come up here and destroy this. Nothing. Okay, down here. Come and check this for a secret room. Uh, I think that was off the mark. Yay, found it. <laughs> Oh, I love wringing all the value out of these Bobos and Throbos. That's an optimization I can get behind. Ooh, Selt's Blood. Okay. Spawns Lava. So it's not like a super difficult to get potion. Like, it's not supposed to be ridiculously powerful. I have to imagine from that, at least. Oh, then another... No, never mind. There's not another secret room. Thought there was, but it's actually just another exit to this one. It does confirm there's not a secret room on the other side of that, though, so that could be... Never mind. As it turns out, it's incredibly not useful information because I already would have had that confirmed by the explosions present in this room. But it could have been. Alright. Come on. Uh, not paying a key to go to a shop at this point. We'll have a lot of free opportunities at shops later. No! Oh! Damn it! You destroyed the bomb that you uncovered for me! Dang it! I was trying to get this done. I really should have led him around the corner first. But especially with all of the arrow traps in that room, it felt like uh, it might cause more difficulty for myself than I solve. I swarm all relics in the room. Oh, really wish I had that earlier. That'll be good in the latest shop, at the very least. I feel like this is the secret room right there. But with only one bomb. 
Only if I get a bomb pilfer can I really check. That said, I have so many different ways of spawning gold in this room that I should be able to force a bomb pilfer spawn. What the? No. None of that, thank you. Alright, we'll try this one. Alright, someone got away with a little bit of the money. Come on, Bomb Pilfer, please. I've been trying so hard. Alright. Guess there's just not gonna be a Bomb Pilfer then. Also, no shrines this floor? What's up with that? Oh, no, no, no. It's only Exuberance. Eh, sorry, Exuberance. Holy Guacamole that gave me extra shrines last run. It's not a permanent meta level progression. Got it. Answered it for myself. I've still got suspicions about a secret room to the south, so... Do this one slowly. And yeah, they've stopped spawning. We can bounce. Okay. I did have to kind of just shut up a little bit for that room and just think about it for a moment because it's, it's very simple. It's just, I need time to set the best behaviors in my brain rather than just you know, try and keep up the pace and avoid dead air and then take damage constantly. Find old gross food leftovers in chests. Hell of a lot of money by this point in the game, I mean, but that is, you know, golden popcorn as well as uh, increase in gold <laughs> as the first blessing I take. That's what that'll do for you. Show us what you got, shop. Walking on air. And it's on sale as well. I mean, yeah, I want it. I'm taking it. It's really good and it has giant returns later on for us. Is this a removal of a curse? No, health will regenerate over time. I'm going to go gold income again. So we have a less swing damage and lose more gold on death. Both of those are fine by me. They're not currently jeopardizing the way that I play, obviously, because I play with mainly range and I'm not dead yet. So it shouldn't be a problem. Ideally, I would like to get this Lurker to kill all of the extra rocks in the room. So that's what we'll be setting up for here. Alright, this one as well. No. And then... Gonna need to be a little bit closer than that. All right. Saves me looking for a crawl space. With my supply of bomb. Well, I need to get in there immediately if this is gonna be happening. That, that was awful. <laughs> Absolutely tragic. It's scarcely been worse. Oh well. It happens. At least I had a bomb left over to do it. Hmm. That could have been worse. That could barely have been better, actually, though. The second one. Uh... I really wish they were more common self-sacrifice rooms. All 
All right. Coat your weapon with poison. It's probably time that we use this. Just getting a random chest, freeing up some space. Discover the secret shop. Hmm. Maybe we do that. All right. Let's discover the secret shop. There might be a transmute machine in there, which we could play a bunch. Cosmic Egg increases experience gain for a familiar. Our familiar is pretty experienced already and will get really experienced over the course of this. I don't think we need that. I think we do want the key doubler. And I think we'll transmute. Increase attack damage and speed when killing enemies. Eh. Transmute again. Earth sign ring, increase health. There's also overstocking of shops. We'll take the overstocking of shops just because it's like an immediate benefit here. Oh look, food will sometimes duplicate itself. That seems good. Let's also increase our health. Excellent. Spent a hell of a lot of money there, but came a lot stronger though. I kind of want to go back in and do a little more re-rolling, but what would I even be able to buy? Nothing of ridiculous import. I think we take a single bomb, take a key, and get out of here. I'm really feeling like we're wringing all of the value out of these early levels, and I'm really, really pleased with it. Get a second bomb as well, and bounce. <clears throat> yeah, that was a lot of money spent, but... Oh, we just became so much better in terms of, like, long-term support for this run. Yeah, this many bats in this small an arena is very terrifying. Alright. That said, I feel like we'll probably still get like a pretty good amount of money over the course of this run. Yeah, I just got a feeling that we have the popcorn, the golden popcorn. And that'll do it by itself. Got him! <laughs> it took all of my effort and complete silence, but I managed to got him. And got myself, for my troubles, a blessing. I think it was hardiness there? Yeah, healing is more effective. Hell yeah. Especially because we currently intend on healing ourselves with food. Seems pretty dang good for us. The current intention on healing ourselves with food being because we have the seasoned popcorn for duplicating food on spawn. I feel like I'm getting the golden popcorn basically every run at this rate. Which is extremely handy. Hard to dirt! I didn't want to blow that up! Just an errant pickaxe, I guess. Cast removal. A curse and a blessing, or curse... Uh, I think we just go with the curse removal. This over here is swap your items around, right? Yeah, impish key bomb. Good. I'm just trying to get, like, a... a working mental glossary of all of these items. Hey, you know what? Encyclopedia. Let's go with that. Not glossary. It's not a list of terms. All right. 
now it's time for Bobo to shine. Thank you, Bobo. I'll take this key. I'll take that. Thank you. Let's reset you up here. Okay. Then one more just upwards. Well, sorry, Bobo. Time to die. Ooh, mediocre ring increases health and damage. I can't be sad about that. Our max HP is actually, we are the healthiest, quite literally, that we have ever been in this game. Dang it. Really wanted them to destroy those rocks down there. There we go. Now that that's down, I'm afraid there is no more need for you, Lurkers. Whew. Ooh. I don't really have health to spare on this floor, do I? But I might get some health to spare on later floors. I feel like I could probably afford this. Nice some fireballs, spawn lava, transform more relics in the room. Come on, food. We do get old gross food in chests. So any chest spawns are actually extra food for us as well. We also found a secret room off of that bomb friend. Curse removal even. Lovely. You can collect curse removal at a distance? I did not know that. Experience gained for a familiar. Probably should have picked that up earlier. Alright. Let's go to the secret room first, just in case. Let's have healing be more effective, especially given you know, how much we're focusing on food right now. Decreases swing speed in minor arthritis. That's fine. Yes, gain health instead of take damage. So we're going to like play this constantly. Uh, I'm also going to pick up and use this immediately. Just in case we get like a pretty good gold spawn or something. Nope. Still not happening. Give me that, thank you. Alright, and then one more. One more after that. And now, gain health instead of take damage. Hell yeah! <laughs> Heal us back up by a heck of a lot. The only problem is I still don't know if we ended up like ultimately out ahead as a result of that. I suspect not. Um. And I'll buy a little bit of HP before we get out of here. Down we go. So that we can immediately... Up we go. Just a shortcut to the exit. Feeling very good with the bomb double, uh, sorry, key doubler, and this amount of keys by this point in the game. Okay, I'm happy I also used the experience gain from familiar as early as I did. Knowing me, I would have held on to it so long that my familiar actually just would have leveled up, <laughs> almost out of spite. Be 
please stop hitting me. It's very rude and I need to live so that I can win the video game. if I'm going to want to go to the shop here. If I can avoid it, I'd like to. Save the extra key. But I guess the shops are now significantly better. How good is the shop going to have to be before it's like a priority for me? Because if I'm not adapting my strategy around... You know, oh, how good is the shop for me at this point with this level of upgrades? Then I'll just get stuck. The shop could be incredibly good and I'll just be stuck in that same mentality. Alright. Gotta love those crits. Almost got the level up on the friend now as well. Maybe it's like single throw jump, single throw jump constantly against these. And then just circle strike like the whole group so that I can't get sectioned off in between them. Ricochet the Throne Pickaxe and Guidance. Now I care most about increasing the throne speed of my weapon. Okay. Key double couple to key. Increase throw speed. So how do I unlock the other familiars? Is it a level... Ooh. No, this isn't a special room at all. But is it a level of... Ascension gives me a familiar? Is that it? That makes sense. I can see that. Alright, with as much health as we're missing, I'm a little incentivized to go to the shop. But even then, like, primarily I'll be looking for curse removal. Soak up gold and get a discount at the shop. Yep. Yeah, that just seems important enough to me. Feel the effects of a potion for longer as well as get something for nothing. I don't know what that is. I'm very interested though. I'm gonna take the Miner's Flask and I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna go on a whole spending spree. Oh, it makes a single item in a shop cost nothing? That's really not good. Well, at least now I know what it does. I guess like if I knew what it was and I could have altered my play around that, like bought out all but the most expensive items or something, then it can be quite useful. But it doesn't seem like something that you'd want to, you know, invest your own money in purchasing. I mean, spawning lava in the final fight could actually be... Not lava, but lava in the final fight could actually be really, really useful. Okay. Take the increased throw speed. I'm very much relying on shops as my way of curse removal rather than using the shrines for it now. Maybe over-reliant, but you know, 
This is how I'm going to figure out whether or not that's a bad idea. Currently, feels like a bad idea. Okay, so the gold soaking up thing... <laughs> I realized as I bought it... Hang on, this is what my familiars do, uh, familiar does. It's probably not really going to help me that much. Might help me clear a little faster here in the early. Cook all food. Oh, adventures. I'm going to take the adventurer's hat. I'm going to go over here and take the adventurer's whip. And... Yeah, that did give us, like, uh, 1450. Hell yeah. That went incredibly well for us. Good room. Good room. So I've got food constantly healing us for a ridiculous amount because it's more effective a couple times over. It occasionally doubles itself, and it always is cooked. Could scarcely be better. Return damage, but amplified. I'm gonna transform this relic. Bombushka. Bombs and bombs and bombs and bombs. Well, I regret my choice. Would have vastly preferred the preview. Previa. Previous, rather. Or prior. I was trying to say both at the same time and ended up saying nothing correct at all. <laughs> Gruel. Ah. I stood still for like a millisecond there, game. Food though. <sighs> oh, that could have done so much. Discovered a crawl space and a secret room on the bottom wall. Instead, it did nothing. And now that my pilfer is this leveled up, getting bomb pilfers to spawn is going to be harder. I'll have less of a window to do it. So using that method to check for secret rooms is much more fallible now. Secret room on the other side of the wall. Thank you. <sighs> Ooh, hang on. Actually useful? Lessing discovered slow metabolism. Study with the priestess. Uh, heal over time effects are more powerful, you'd assume, from the name. But I'm not going to assume, because that makes everyone into a dude. I'm pretty sure is donkey, is it? Makes donkey out of everyone. Not sure how that one goes. Right, let's peace out. I might want to go back to the shop and actually get a couple of keys. <sighs> See, I started moving over in this direction with that intent and then went back on it. And now I'm going back on, back on, back on it. It's a heck of a lot of a waste of time. I really wish there was a quick teleport mechanic across the floor, especially. You know, like a gungeon-ish kind of thing. Just because, like, the character doesn't have the ability to gain extra speed from any of the relics that I've seen so far. So it kind of feels necessary. <laughs> or, you know, like an option like Gungeon has, again, just recommending Gungeon things, I guess. Uh, an option like Gungeon has of... Woo! That was some good placement as well. Of increase out of speed... Uh, sorry, out of combat speed. But that also makes trap rooms a lot more dangerous. Can I ask me to carried relic? I have some really good relics. I probably don't really care to use that at all. If you got to choose, that would be absolutely incredible. 
But lacking that, your run has to be garbage for it to be good. It's not really a position you want to be in. Or rather, for it to be consistently good. Because I know I'm going to get the unlucky result, so I may as well prepare for it. It'll destroy my best relic. Uh, cracked orb. Enemies hit with the thrown pickaxe take more damage. Gotta love that. I need more curse removal if I'm going to come back and blow up that shrine. Perfect positioning on the first of these, by the way, as well. Quite lucky on that. Drop a random chest. I probably want to use that when I need healing. Because chests drop food and food is cooked. No, I'm happy to go for penance here. I also wonder how far I am from the full upgrade of the shop. Because that's going to be like our next giant power spike is the full upgraded shop. Yeah, I only just remembered that I have the uh, ability to fly. Whew. Super useful as it turns out. over time, drop some protein, removes a curse and a blessing. Uh, no, about any of these. Yeah, there's not really that much more in the room that I would like to get them to explode, so I'll just go straight for the kills. A locked black rabbit room. Black rabbit rooms are usually Kind of garbage. I don't know if I want to unlock that. Alright, we'll use a bomb because it'll check adjacencies for secret rooms. As well as we have more bombs. Not only checked adjacencies for secret rooms, but found a secret room. Also, discovered that this is a mimic. Good work, bomb. So my curse is costs health to plant bombs. Yeah, that was definitely not worth it. Our blessing was just another hardiness, healing being more effective. I don't think there were keys on sale in the shop. If there are, then maybe I'll go into the Black Rabbit room. If there aren't, then I'm out. There aren't. Alright, time for us to mount then. Maybe I want, like, a troll... You know what? I think I want, uh a protein shake or two for the final fight. I think if I have a protein shake or two for the final fight, I'll just be able to you know, full heal twice in that fight, and that should be enough. So what am I okay with getting rid of? Probably... S no, it's not Seltz. It's the Fireball. We only really use the Fireball to solve puzzles. But what if she wants to trade health for something? And she does that a lot of the time. Because I can buy all of those now. Yeah. Remove a curse. Pop that. Not the curse I wanted to remove. That's fine, though. Take a key. That, I, that was the opposite of the transaction I wanted to make there. Oops, my bad. Sorry, I thought it was get a key from spending a bomb, not the inverse. Getting a curse removal for that key? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, 
And then thankfully I knew we could heal back up. <sighs> Having only one key though does make me a little worried. Let's start getting locked out of value. Gotta get rid of that one, the major curse. So I gotta constantly remind myself, I can just fly over these holes. We bought it for ourselves ages ago, knowing that we would end up in this kind of a position. Utilize it, Ryan, otherwise you wasted your money. I mean, with the ricochet, those become trivial. Thankfully. Bomb doubler. There's also another curse removal over here. In fact, there's two ways to remove a curse. Maybe we shouldn't have used that shrine. Hopefully we find other ways to pick up curses on this floor that are meaningful. I'd use a curse chest, I'd uh, hmm. blow open a purple lantern or whatever we're calling them at this point. Let's go back and get a key. Maybe I have to be more judicious with the way that I use these keys. Because it just definitely seems like I can't, you know, maintain the usage of them on everything. Even if I buy every key, even if I have the key doubler. Break spikes and take names? Hell yeah. That does mean we're going to have difficulty sacrificing our own HP in certain areas, but it also means that along with walking on air, we can ignore most... Uh, most, like, arena-limiting obstacles. At least the ones that aren't walls. Ugh. Pretty good amount of money, I would say. <sighs> Going back to that shop to do anything? No. I don't have a bunch of food left on the ground on this floor. So, it's time to leave. Otherwise, I may go, like, really transmute heavy in there. Alright, just trying to see if we can get a bomb pilfer. That's a big old NO on that one. That's fine. Can't limit my arena. Yeah, that room would have been much more hellish without my relic set. It does feel like I pretty reliably get most relics over the course of like two separate runs. So it does feel a little like there could be more relics. But again, the game is currently in early access, so it's not currently feature nor content nor polish complete. I mean, clearly, right, as a result of the, the fourth boss not yet being in the game. Keys? Ugh. Yikes. Yeah, we're going to start missing out on things because of this. Especially if the shop is locked. That's a problem that I believe, like, Gungeon used to have. Because keys were much, much rarer. And sometimes you would go and find that shops themselves could also be locked. And you were relying on them to bolster your supply of keys. Ooh, okay. 
I may just play that a lot, even if I don't yet have the ability to heal. Well, I... Okay, I do have the ability to heal in an absolute pinch. I've got these two protein shakes. I don't intend on using them here, though. Okay. Throw speed. Throw speed for throw speed. Perfect. It's almost like nothing's happened until I remove this curse. Alright. Let's go play it a little. Hell of a lot of HP there. Transmute all relics in room. That's also a pretty good pickup for us. And curse removal. You know what? I think we're done here now. The final thing that I can do is look for a secret room. Not going to be one to the north of there. I suspect adjacent here. Just because the secret rooms could have keys. Keys get me into the item room. Then we go from there. No secret room on that far wall. North wall, I guess, could be a secret room. It is. Come on, Kimi. Eh. Could have been worse. Could have been less valuable, I guess. Alright, bounce. Maybe I should have taken the impish key bomb much earlier in the run. I've always managed to find a good use for those, so it feels like that's just, in general, a pretty good thing to hold on to. Sweet. Don't really need to clear out the rest of these, so... Just peace out. Yikes. Game, please calm down. <laughs> now, I actually do need to destroy all of these eggs. Because I need to leave Throbo as the final enemy on the map. So that I can just have Throbo throw all of this stuff. Thank you for discovering the secret room for me. There's a key. Finally. Managed to get one. Alright. Completely done with the room and all you found me was the secret room. Alright. I suppose I can't complain. You did find the secret room. Could have been since, like, could have been significantly uh, worse. 
So this room over here is locked, but it doesn't tell me what's on the other side. That's unique. Hmm. Just gonna clear all of those out just in case. Open this. Ah, it's a choose room. Deal more throw damage at low health. I think we just go totem of life. Sustain yourself through adventure. We can never be too healthy. Alright. Curse removal items at a premium. Everything else kind of ignored. Ooh. Enemies drop gold when killed. No. Find more altar rooms. I think we're far too late, right? We've only got two more rooms. So I think we're far too late to start using that. I'm gonna take an impish key bomb, swap my items around, and then buy a couple bombs. Looking for curse removal. Ooh, galoshes? No. We've learned our lesson. I don't desperately need to remove these curses yet. So we'll hold on for a bit. I need to also formulate like an idea of, okay, how much extra gold is golden popcorn giving me? How much extra gold is, you know, enemies drop extra gold on death, the four leaf clover? How much is that giving me? so that I can actually have like a reasonable cost benefit analysis, especially in terms of finding them on later floors. Like, are they still worth picking up? That kind of thing will just come with time. Thanks, Necromats up. You managed to sink a lot of hits into me there. Not particularly pleased about it. But frankly, well done. <laughs> Deal more swing damage at high health. Yeah. I wonder, Axe Throwers Pendant and Knight's Pendant, those might have had a synergy in the same way that we've seen the Rook's Bomb and the Bishop's Bomb became the Queen's Bomb. Makes a hell of a lot of sense, actually. I <laughs> wasn't even thinking about it in terms of... Ah, crush those. Damn it, can't even use them. Uh, wasn't even thinking about it in terms of chess initially, but yeah, it just does make sense. What other one? I, I mean, obviously, the, the Golden Idol is also a huge push in that direction. Ah, it was the other wall. It's pretty sure there was the secret room here. All right. I mean, as long as we got a recipe, I'm happy with it. Seasoned kernels brewed at the alchemist. Double all food in the room? Because seasoned popcorn doubles all gold in the room. Sorry, not seasoned popcorn. Golden... Whatever we just unlocked. Dang it! I actually had track of it. Hang on. Seasoned popcorn duplicates food. Golden popcorn duplicates gold. Golden kernels, I think, is the name of the potion that duplicates gold in the room. So, seasoned kernels. Makes sense. I am amazed that I have not yet taken damage in this room. There we go. Thank you for fixing that for me, game. Okay.
Well, we gotta leave you do this this whole time. Let's make sure we're constantly dodging. That's for the food. Yeah, we should make sure that he throws them at other established obstacles on the map as well. Clearing out multiple things. There we go. Taking a lot of damage while I let the enemy do this, so... I'm hoping it eventually makes up for it, but I'm feeling a strong no on that. Yeah, that's a, that's a no. I may actually need to heal myself now. Demon ring increases swing damage. Accidentally unlocked that door, but I wasn't intending to anyway, so it's fine. Can't really afford to go for curse removal right now, though. I was right to immediately start running away. Not that, the absolute least. Damn it, I keep thinking that I have a ridiculous excess of bombs, so... Oh, yay, I'm gonna be able to access that chest over there, but... Number one, I have Wayland's boots, so that's how I access the chest. But number two, also, I don't have bombs anymore. I actually use a couple. Yeah, and now's when the game is gonna exclusively give me keys. The game knows. I swear it knows. Even if we do die to Nori, as long as we remove the curse that's lessening the amount of gold we have, it's going to be great. Secret room to the south. Double your bombs. Doubling season. Keep all your gold when you die, yeah? Does that override? I have to imagine that overrides. Not what I wanted to purchase their game. It's probably better than spawning lava. Okay. So wait, there were no bombs in there, were there? No, there's one. I can't double my bombs to get one more bomb. Just gonna have to go with this. Well, I appreciate the ridiculous amount of money. Oof. I'm not feeling so well prepared for the boss fight anymore. Right. Hopefully we find a relic next floor. It's garbage. We transform it two times over. I actually should have already done that as well. That's my bad. As in, I by this point could have transformed the demon ring because it increases swing damage and I know it increases swing damage. I don't really care about my swing damage. I've also got to make sure even if I don't think there's anything valuable in a room to check it because the totem of life is going to heal on that trigger. Didn't actually want to kill that lurker yet, but if that's the price for killing the Crimson Skeleton, that's the price. What is the other thing out of here that needed a bomb? I swear there was something else. 
Oh, right, yeah, the chest in the final room. Yeah, I'll still do it. It's typically a lot of money from these. That gives me a chance of finding a secret room as well. And it was over here. Dang it. Knew it was going to be one of them. And now we're not going to be able to find a way to use all of these keys at this point. Yikes. I may have made the swap between bombs and keys a little too late in the run to be super valuable for us. Okay, a vase dropped a bomb. I did not know that could happen. I'm going to go open the secret room with it. You can't stop me. Especially because I don't really think I'm going to be using bombs in the final fight. Okay. There you go. Curse removal two times over, I think. The other one's still available for curse removal, right? Then I'll buy HP after that if I need to. Yep. I'm gonna take home so much money. Ooh. Gonna be incredible. This should be like all of our shop stuff bought out at this point as well. So now we think the alchemist bought out, we'll have the shop uh, progression bought out, and then the most expensive stuff is Arkanos's and Lilith's. So, are the skeletons like always alive in this area? Should I not be checking them? Try and keep an eye on that and see if I find a counter example. Pretty difficult when the ricochet goes off to stop yourself from splitting too many of these. But thankfully, when you split too many of them, you suddenly become very good at combat because you're dealing a ridiculous amount of damage per swing. Sure, split among them, but nonetheless. I'm glad at the very least in this room I immediately remember that I can go over the pits again. Because otherwise, this would have been nightmarish. This is the final shop of the run. Take it very seriously. Extra key, not really needed. Damn it. Restores all missing health. Elixir. We might... We're probably going to come back for that. Thank you for finding the secret room. Unfortunately, significantly less of this area is destroyed than I wanted. Yeah, unfortunately, the Crypt Lurker also murders itself there, so... Gonna have difficulty getting it to fulfill. Oh, we could play so much out of that! I'm very tempted to use the Elixir and all of my other stuff just to play that machine. Never mind. Throw really fast is exactly what we wanted. I've been trying to get throw speed up for a while.
Yeah, I didn't get the hoarding pilfer at all there. I think I do need to be using Malay to get the hoarding pilfer because otherwise, as soon as I miss one attack, I'm just not killing it. And also, they seem to take one damage no matter what I do, so I should just be cornering them and then going for strikes. Because it doesn't matter that, you know, I'm doing more damage with my range when they just take a certain amount of hits. I can't really bomb that out. Hmm... I mean, I have a fair amount of HP. Should I? I think transmute all relics in room. Like, we'll just use that in here twice if there are any relics. There are no relics in here. Wow, let's do that twice. We can take antimatter and elixir. And we will actually definitely do some playing. Ooh, bunch of bombs. Lovely. Ooh, single bomb. Lovely. Bunch of golds. Use that to heal up there. And then pop this to heal up as well. So now we have a Toxin and we have a full heal in the boss fight. This is still more HP than I typically go into a boss fight with. Um, despite the trap, that's still some food. Alright, we're doing it. Jump too early, clearly. Come on, get the toxic on immediately. Yeah, take damage immediately doing it as well. Now, unfortunately, here I don't. Yikes. Stop hitting me. Unfortunately here, I don't have access to Salamander's Tail, so I'm not going to be able to relight these sconces myself. I'm going to have to wait for opportune attacks from the boss. I am somehow missing, like, all of these hands as they spawn. It's just going to take ages that it doesn't necessarily need to here for us. Hopefully we're still dealing a pretty decent chunk of damage. Well, time to be in darkness. Just like to use an attack. That's not going to help. Restore all health. Yeah, I can't light those back up. I am relying on you to kind of almost take mercy and allow me to kill you. They were all lit because 
fight is very long. Damn it. So unless I know there are no portals around me, I can't even start a throw because I'll definitely take damage by the end of it. I have no clue how you're supposed to beat this boss without any upgrades. I guess just out of complete mastery of the attack patterns. I can see that, but the fight would still take a billion years. slamming the ground before I even land. It's very rude. Really? Really? I got hit by both of those in curse and now I'm dead. That fight is real hard. Is there something I'm missing? At this point, I legitimately do want to know, is there something I'm missing about the ability to relight those sconces? Because especially near the end of the fight, the enemy is attacking so fast with all of the hands that... <sighs> Feels awful. Right. Expand the food supply, get transmute in more stores. Outfit most stores with transmute. Beautiful. Actually did manage to buy you out now. What do you want? A master pickaxe? Fire projectiles at full health? Sure. Let's take that. And you know what? I'm also gonna... Upgrade the tempered pickaxe a bunch here. Blue steel pickaxe? Uh-huh. I getcha. I'm going to continue upgrading this and try and actually do a swing damage run next run where I actually utilize it. I mean, I do really want to buy those keys for the next run, though. Also, transmute a carried relic. Eh, I don't think I'll do that. seen that one. So we do have a new tome for you as well, Lilith, I believe. Yeah, slow metabolism. Increased potion duration. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Should have guessed that was going to be that. It's also duplicate all food in the room or duplicate almost everything in the room. Let's go with duplicate almost everything in the room. Uh, you can craft more than one potion at a time, but can only take one on your first run. Okay, cool. We'll leave that there for later. I think the rest of the money will just be spent on bombs. Awesome. Well, for the moment, my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Undermine. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.